The Demon List, a place where all of the hardest levels ever verified and rated are listed in Geometry Dash. Pool Cube finally got rated and placed on the Demon List. Naturally, I decided to check it, and I don't think my opinion has been so mixed from a list before. I remember when Abyss of Darkness was top 1 and the Golden was on the top 10. First of all, this is my opinion. It is completely okay if you disagree with me, but don't leave hate in the comments because that's a dumb thing to do. Also, this script was made on the 28th of December 2022, so the list might obviously change in the future. Anyway, let's start. Ah, Hard Machine. Made back in 1.8, Hard Machine was created by Comp for the sole purpose of being harder than ICDX without being impossible. The gameplay is pretty good for a top 10, there are some memory parts and some spam, but there's nothing that bad about it except this weird UFO skull part and that dumb spam. The decoration is very mediocre at best, and some parts feel very weird and bad. Time Machine is a pretty okay level, I wouldn't say that it is harder than Tartarus though. But how well can it hold up with Oblivion? Oblivion is a 2.1 Extreme Demon collab and is also one of the most forgettable top 10s right now. The gameplay is pretty okay considering it is top 9, but I can't really say that because I barely saw this level before. However, the decoration is absolute garbage. It feels like you're only 2.15 star and there isn't really anything going on. The most interesting thing about the decoration are the color changes on the end screen. Oblivion is a pretty forgettable top 10 and I actually think it's a good sequel to Cognition considering it's exactly the same as Oblivion. Compare it to Arcturus and you get a completely different story. Arcturus is an impossible level which also has a possible version. That possible version also happened to be verified by Ultra Kawa HD, and is peacefully sitting at the number 8 spot. The gameplay is good and original, it has a bunch of cool parts, especially the wave and the slow ship at the end. The level seems to have a difficulty curve where the easiest part is in the beginning and the hardest part is at the end. The gameplay is pretty fun too. The decoration is not anything you wouldn't see in a generic red top 10, it's quite mysterious and nice and the decoration is quite fitting considering it is named after a star. It's a very good level in my opinion, it should be respected more by the kids who still say that Slaughterhouse is the best level ever. The next level is Pool Cubed. Pool Cubed is the hardest rated modern level and in my opinion, really good. The gameplay is pretty fun and nice, with Trick and Zoink both giving it an enjoyment rating of 70 out of 100. The decoration is amazing and really good considering it's the only level to not use generic glow style. I can't really say anything that has already been said. All I can say, why did it take such a time to fucking wait, Rob? Now this is where we get into the spice that all of the children have been waiting for. The bad type of spice. Firework was created by the legendary Cherry Team and it's... Okay... I don't know, the gameplay is mostly timing based and pretty okay, but it's sometimes forgettable though. Like tell me, do you really know any part besides the orb ship? Let's see the decoration... Okay. No top 10 has ever had the most basic decoration in existence. I'm not trying to be mean. But what is this generic grey glow style? Fireworks are supposed to be full of color, and what is this? I actually don't know what to say to this. Let's just move on. Okay, before I freak out, I need to address that this level was made in 1.9 and it was an impossible level. <sighs> anyway, this level is absolute garbage. The gameplay just consists of the most random gimmicks combined into a single level. What is this? What is this? And what the hell is this supposed to be? Why can't you just make nice gameplay? decoration is pretty okay, but I don't really know how to rate this because the level doesn't really have a theme. Oh wait. I mean, the decoration isn't as bad as Firework, don't get me wrong, but considering it's a 9 circles level, it's pretty good. Anyway, this level sucks. I don't really like it, and it puts a bad impression on the demon list. 4 out of 10. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh. Oh. Now this impossible level is a very legendary one, but the gameplay and the decoration are just... Why? I know this gameplay was made in 1.8, but like, look at this. You know what? 
I'm not even gonna try to freak out, because I can't say anything that has not been said about the level. I don't even wanna talk about it. I never wasted showcase, I guess. <sighs> Next level. Abyss of Darkness has a pretty funny history. It was verified by Exen, also known as Nero, in 2018, and then forgotten immediately until two years later. Then Kurtz died a couple times, and then he verified it. This level is kind of dumb. Now, the gameplay is pretty creative and all, but it's really long and it's painful to beat it. It uses clever tricks, but it's a bit gimmicky to say the least. The decoration is very mediocre at best, and the level is pretty boring with nothing going on. It kind of reminds me of a different top 10 that we talked about. I think I know why many people don't care about this level, and I still don't know how this is easier than Slaughterhouse. Now, before all of the kids go screaming at me in the comments, this level is a very good top 10. But man is it so overrated. The showcase has 6.6 million views. Otherwise, the level itself is amazing. It left a big mark on the community, and everything about it is very good. The gameplay is good and original, it has a lot of cool stuff going on. The extreme wave parts make the level very memorable. The decoration is amazing, it has a good transition between parts, and all of the decorators did an amazing job. My only problem with the level is that I literally can't talk about the level without a random 5 year old screaming at me. It's not the level's fault. Bloodbath and Nine Circles were like that too, so I'd just rather keep my mouth shut. Still overrated though. I don't know how to say this. But Acheron is kind of garbage. The gameplay is really hard, which also means that it's literally unplayable. It is pretty boring and mainly focuses on timings and tight sections. The gameplay is not what is making me mad though. The decoration is absolute garbage. It's literally nothing, it almost seems like a layout to me. I don't know how it got featured, so don't ask me. If it would be Ryan's version, I would have much more to say about it. But Acheron is just kind of bad. I don't know what else to say. 6 out of 10. Anyway, that was it. Those were the top 10 demons. Why did I make this video? Because I'm disappointed! The top 10 can be so much more. Not even half of the top 10 are good. <sighs> After the verification of Limbo, I have a bit of hope. And if you're watching this and you're making a hard level, please make a good hard level. I actually want the top 10 to be something good, like in 2018 for example. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a nice day. See ya. Okay, we need to talk about this. How is Arcturus number 10 on the demon list? You know, six years ago, the demon list looked like this. How? Why am I telling you this? That's literally the time that 2.1 has been out for.